Hey Chargers, Park here with another indicator. Today I'm introducing you to the better DMI indicator. And this is it on the screen. What you're seeing right now is a cloud just like the one I created for my other uh, DMI uh, indicator. But I'm going to put the regular uh, DMI on here. And so we can see a difference between the two. I'm going to set the same parameters. Uh, let's do 12 for an hour because I'm on a five minute. So we have everything set the same. Uh, with my indicator, you can't change the average. There's really no average in there. It's focusing on the highs and the lows that are uh, on the stock for that time period. So when we look at this one right here, um, uh, Roblox, you can see how here you did not get a change with the DMI to later on. With mine, you got that immediate change right here. DMI then switch over into here, showing that it was negative, and then it switched back over right here. And it doesn't give you a very great idea of the degree of the change, even though it just talks about the ADX of being above um, DMI, showing that it would be stronger, or perhaps the uh, directional move at index being above the ADX showing a stronger move but with mine I created mine just like you would would use with R uh, with the RSI and when the ADX my ADX is above 50 it shows a stronger trend and when it's below 50 it shows a, a weaker trend but what you're going to get with is this is the twisting of the clouds to show you positive or negative so the cyan color will be positive the pink will be negative and what you're going to do is put in the your time, for what your your average, what you want to look at it. And I always set mine on 5 minutes or 12 because 12 bars give you an hour. So you're going to get the negative, which is pink, positive, which is uh, cyan, the ADX. And it's going to change color automatically according to the Heikinashi and the volume. And the volume average is going to be set up with this length as well. So yeah, oversell, overbought, and 50. And that's basically what you're seeing right now. I'm going to get rid of, well, I'll leave a regular DMI on here. And just showing you the difference of the clarification of everything this indicator does. It paints the bars as well. So right now, you can see right here, you had a, 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 a trend change or a short-term trend change. And you can see the small, this cloud is pretty small compared to the one previous one. So it wasn't that great, but it is above 50 and it gave you bright red to show you that, hey, there's a lot of volume coming through here. But it immediately changed back. And you can see right here, it should have changed probably went below 50 and then to show the greater degree of the change or the greater degree of the move like it did right here. It went below 50 and then it came back above 50 showing you that, hey, it's a stronger degree of change. And this one is more validated with that change of going below 50 and then crossing back above. So this is the better DMI indicator. And like I said before, it changes the price color accordingly. It uh, uh, changed before the DMI would ever change. Even if I put that on exponential, it's still not going to change the way uh, mine would change. And it's still not going to give you true depth of the change or what's going on, or the, or the trend that's going on in the price. And we can move Robox back, and you can see the same situation here. Yeah, you got to push right here, but what what's the degree of the push? And... With mine also, I give you the volume, uh, average volume. So this degree of change right here with the volume shows you a, a strong change right here. And with the lighter candles right here, you can see it's low volume, but uh, the ADX is above 50. And you can see everything pretty much right here. And you can see you got those two red candles with the Heikinashi. And the volume also. So this is above as volume with the Heikinashi. Uh, showing you that there was a change in trend. But it was a short change of trend. And I would really focus on this last low right here before I would get uh, decide to get out. And if I got a close below this last low right here, I would have gotten out of the stock. And the same situation here when I got this ch trend change, I would have focused on this low. If I would have had a close below this low, I would have go ahead and exited the stock. 
And you can see how mine caught up beforehand and then changed. And you can see how the cloud twisted became big as well. And to show you the degree of the change was significant. So we can actually go to the spy and look at it as well. And you can see also here, this is a great degree of change right here. Uh, especially in the pre-market and it basically continued on throughout the day yeah, you got the small trend change right here but it wasn't significant enough to cause you to uh, to want to go long in this stock but perhaps just short the uh, drop below this low right here to start shorting and we can go to actual day And you see how the ADX is basically below 50. And it's not really doing anything until you get over here when it crosses above 50. And you can see the degree of change is with is volume related. And like I said before, I would look for, when I see the trend change also, I would look for a close below this low right here to confirm to go ahead and get out of stock. And also, when the, uh, you get a trend change, I would look for a close above this high right here before entering into the stock. Same situation here. And you can see right now, it's just, it was really choppy in this area. And you can see how the ADX basically just stayed below 30 or stayed right there around 30, and then it finally made its move. But during this whole entire period, you can see the cloud was pink during that whole entire time. It already made a trend change right there. And then it changed right there. And like I said, I would have waited for a close above one of these red candles. Or perhaps even this green candle right there. But we can put the Heiken Nashi on. And you may be able to see it better. I had the Heiken Nashi candles empty when they're negative and when they're uh, bullish, they're uh, be filled up with green. And you can basically see it right there. It's showing you the same thing with the Heiken Nashi candles. And then you're just saying, hey, it's volume related or volume pushed in this uh, trend change. So you can take that as a confirmation. But this has been a better DMI. You can switch it over to an actual, we'll go to the year as well. And we'll switch this to 21. And I should have switched the DMI as well. To 21. And DMI just basically stands for Directional Move Index. And you can see right here, mine gave you a better signal right here coming up. And the DMI was still late. And the ADX is showing you that this trend right here is weak because this continued going down while my ADX continued to go up. Even though it's showing you that, hey, this trend is not being pushed by volume, you still got this big green candle right here to start off the trend to show you that it was a stronger trend for that time period. And it trailed off from there. And like I said before, I would have looked for a, uh, a close that was below this low to go ahead and signal me to get out. So I probably would have gotten out right here. But you still made money if you st if you got in over here or eventually once it crossed above 50. But this is the better DMI indicator. And you can f find the link in the description to get the indicator. And if you haven't already, please like and subscribe. And if you have any comments, please leave us some comments in the uh, comment section. I wish you all the best. Have a great day.